Now, you guys may have seen this story several weeks ago, and I actually almost covered it on FW News, but then I decided not to because I don't really like getting into the trans issues, if I'm honest. Like, I don't really care if people are trans. There are issues around it. I do believe in protecting women's sports. I don't like this sort of thing, but I also don't know what the solution is, and I'm not the best person to figure it out. So I just generally don't touch on the trans stuff because, quite frankly, there are just m things that I'm more worried about. But I did find this story when it originally came out curious. Leah Thomas, dominated by fellow Ivy League transgender swimmer Isaac Hennig. And this was about two trans swimmers in the Ivy Leagues. And one of them, this one, Leah, is a, a trans woman competing on the women's team. And then Isaac here is a trans man also competing on the women's team. Now, my understanding, my understanding is that Isaac, the trans man, has not taken testosterone, has not taken hormones. And that's why he's still competing on the women's team, even though he's obviously socially transitioning. My understanding is that he hasn't started medic. Well, he he did have top surgery, but like, um, but in terms of like taking testosterone and male home hormones, my understanding is that he has not started that yet. So it's a little curious then that Isaac, who has not taken testosterone, would be able to beat Leah, who obviously was born male and is now transitioning to be a female and is swimming on the uh, swim team at Penn. But I also kind of thought, I was like, you know, this is kind of a weird story, but also kind of good for him if he really beat like, like, like her. Um, good for him. You know, I didn't really think too much of it until, until this article came out the other day. And this makes a lot more sense. This makes a lot more sense about what was happening. This was not about skill. They threw it. They plotted to throw the meat in order to make a political point about trans women in women's sports. Let's read from the New York Post. Penn swimmer alleges Leah Thomas colluded with fellow transgender athlete to lose. So Leah Thomas, the, the trans woman, has gotten a rash of heat and backlash for competing on the women's swim team as a trans woman, right? And so because of that, she purposefully threw the meat to the other transgender swimmer. I mean, come on, dude. That's not cool. A biological female member of the University of Pennsylvania's swimming team says she believes her transgender teammate, Leah Thomas, colluded with a Yale transgender athlete so she could lose to prove a point, according to the report. Let me just make the font a little bit bigger. Isaac Henning, who is transitioning from female to male, beat Thomas in both the women's 100 and 400 freestyle races during an Ivy League swim meet on January 8th. Henning was reportedly able to compete on the women's swim team because she has yet to start testosterone treatment. Thomas, who has been shattering team records, has become a lightning rod as her story has gained national attention in recent months. She previously competed as a man for three seasons at Penn. Her biological female teammate, told OutKick on the, on the condition of anonymity that she believes Thomas and Hennig hatched a plan during a recent meet. Henning, looking at Leah's time, I don't think she was trying. I know they're friends, and I know they were talking before the meet. I think that she let her win to prove a point. Oh, see, a female to male beat me. I mean, to be really honest with me, with you guys, it would not surprise me at all. That makes complete sense to me. When asked if she believed the pair colluded, the swimmer said, I do. I can't say for sure, but I wouldn't be shocked if I found out that was 100% true. Henning won the freestyle race with a time of 49.57 seconds. Thomas touched the wall at 52.84 seconds. Though she swam the 100 freestyle, in 49.42 seconds during a November try meet with Princeton and Cornell, OutKick reported. 
The anonymous swimmer also believes Thomas wasn't giving her all in the 200 yard freestyle, which she, she run, won with a time of 148. Now, listen, I'm not a, I'm not a swimmer, but this is a pretty elite competition. We're talking about Ivy League swim teams. And so for anyone who has competed that's watching right now, would I be wrong to say that adding almost three seconds to your time, it kind of seems like you threw it? Like, that's a lot. When we're talking about elite level competition, three seconds is a long time. And so if she was able to do it in 49.42 seconds, in November, and this meet, which just happened to be against the other trans Ivy League swimmer, she she swam 52.84. That, to me, seems like a pretty big gap when we're talking about elite-level competition. Am I wrong about that? I was on deck and said to a friend, she's literally not trying. You could just tell, she told Outkick. It was blatantly obvious. I was watching the 200 free and she was literally keeping pace on the other girls. She was number one in the country at one point. These are definitely talented swimmers, but they're not the caliber of being at the top of the country or anything like that. You could tell when someone is dying and they're swimming slow, the swimmer added. You can also tell when someone is not trying. And I could see in the 200 freestyle that Leah was not trying. The swimmer's accusations come as the NCAA adopted new rules for sport by sports approach to trans athletes. So I wouldn't be surprised if she threw it. And I, I, to be quite frank, if she thinks this is, this is so something a stupid college student would do. I know these are Ivy League college students. I'm sure that they are very book smart. I am sure that they know lots of esoteric theoretical stuff, but I have worked at several Ivy League schools now, and I can tell you emphatically that just because someone is book smart and gets into an Ivy League school doesn't mean they're smart in the real world. This, to me, seems like a very, very deliberate, stupid college age person mistake. This is only going to make things worse. Like, did they really think that no one was going to figure out that she swam three seconds slower than the previous time? Did she think that that wasn't going to be talked about in the midst of all the media uproar? Now, listen, man, it's not as though I don't have a heart. I do feel for this trans woman that's competing on the Penn swim team. I do. That is an awful situation to be in. If she is legitimately transgendered, and I believe she, I'm, I'm, I have no reason to believe she's not. I have no reason to believe she just did this to compete at the college on the college swim team because apparently she was competing on the men's team, so she was already on the college. She was already on the elite level swim team. No, I'm not going to stop calling her. People in the chat are saying, "Stop calling her." She. I will not. I will not. Because I believe that everyone deserves basic respect and courtesy. I do not agree with not using pronouns that people have asked for. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to play the pronoun game. This is a much bigger issue, though. I, it would not surprise me at all if she did throw it. And if she threw it and she thinks that helps her cause, she is. She is. this is only going to make things work, worse, man. George Andre Veloso Nunez says... The difference in losing and winning is usually less than a second in these competitions. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly right. So a little disappointing, to be honest. Probably going to cause more harm than good. But I just thought that that was a, a really interesting story um, to kick us off with today. Things are not always as they seem. We always have to be asking questions pushing beyond the headlines because of course of course the media didn't push behind this average people did